problem is always that we mistake the idea of love uh, for attachment. You know, we, we imagine that the, the grasping and clinging that we have for, uh, in our relationships shows that we love, whereas actually it is just attachment which causes pain, you know, because the more we grasp, the more we are afraid to lose, then if we do lose, then of course we are going to suffer. Well, attachment says, you know, I love you, therefore I want you to make me happy. And genuine love says, I love you, therefore I want you to be happy. If that includes me, great. If it doesn't include me, I just want your happiness. And so it's a very different feeling. You know, attachment is like holding very tight, but genuine love is like holding very gently, nurturing, but allowing things to flow, not to, to be held tightly. The more tight we hold on to others, the more we will suffer. But it's very hard for people to understand that because they think that the more they hold on to someone, the more it shows that, that they care about them. But it's not. It's really just that they're, they're trying to grasp at something because they're afraid that otherwise they, will, um, they themselves will be hurt. Any kind of relationship which imagines that we can um, fulfill ourselves through another is bound to be very tricky. I mean, ideally people should come together already feeling fulfilled within themselves and, and just therefore appreciating that in the other rather than expecting the other to, um, to supply that sense of well-being which they don't feel on their own. Then there's a lot of problems. And also along with the projection which comes with romance where we project all our, our ideas, ideals and, and desires and, and romantic fantasies onto the other which the other cannot possibly fulfill once you get to know them you recognize that it's not Prince Charming or Cinderella. It's just, you know, a very ordinary person also struggling. And unless one is able to see them with, to like them as well as feel desire for them and, and to also have loving kindness and compassion, then it's going to be a very difficult relationship. Thank you.